हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू प्लेसमेंट बडीज कुछ दिन पहले मैंने अपने लिंक्ड पे एक पोस्ट दिया था इफ यू कैन रिमेंबर द पोस्ट वाज रिगार्डिंग अ गूगल फॉर्म वेर आई आस्क्ड एवरी वन ऑफ यू स्पेसिफिकली द फ्रेशर्स हु आर सिलेक्टेड फॉर एल एन टी दिस टाइम टू फिल अप ए गूगल फॉर्म विथ ऑल योर डाउट्स विच यू वॉन्ट मी टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम वेरी मच ओवरवेल्म्ड विथ ऑल योर रिस्पॉन्सिस एंड today in this video i will try to cover all the questions which you have asked all right so let us start this video guys before we move ahead you might not know that many of you about 93% of you do not subscribe to the channel please subscribe to our channel turn on the notifications do press the bell icon i request you all now let's continue but before starting i must say in this video i will be covering in detail all the pre joining joining as well as orientation induction related queries which you generally have regarding lnt i'll be discussing about its work culture and about all the other doubts which normally freshers do have in their mind before joining right so the first question which we want to address in this video is from mr sachin gaikwad who is from sgmce shegao college sachin asks when will they hire for freshers 2022 is any idea of that so sachin i must tell you that freshers hiring for 2022 batch is almost completed and lnt has hired freshers from many institutes across india so till now if uh, lnt didn't visit your college please do contact your placement cell for approaching lnt's hr team to visit your college and recruit students from it okay uh, sachin also has one more doubt i want to join lnt but till now i didn't get any opportunity to apply so how i will apply uh, so sachin let me tell you most of the recruitment in lnt is done through campus placements and if it didn't visit your campus this time maybe uh, you can apply off campus for that you need to go to lnt's careers page and find out the relevant job openings and uh, list down your cv over there okay the next doubt is from mr shoykat shah from iiest shipur and shoykat writes in the last letter i got from lnt regarding the clearance of medical test it is written that the joining will be in the month of july but our exam will end in the first or second week of july so my question is what will be the joining procedure and the month okay shoykat so from uh, many freshers of batch 2022 i came to know that uh, like uh, you most of you uh, are asked to report to mumbai at 29th of june right so maybe uh, what i am assuming is you guys have to report to mumbai and then your uh, orientation program which is popularly known as prayag will start from leadership development academy lonavla so you all need to reach by 29th of june uh, now if the exam dates are getting clashed so what you can do is right now you can go to your college placement cell and you approach your college placement cell with the same problem either you uh, you know ask extension from lnt or you ask extension from your Uh, college uh, examination section right first you uh, you know through your college examination section and placement cell you seek help and uh, you write to campus recruitment team of lnt that you are having exam in july second week so for that reason you will be reporting to mumbai lately right and i am sure lnt will allow you to do so if not then you can ask for the postponement or preponement of your exam through your Uh, examination section this is really a genuine issue and uh, you need to seek help from your examination section from your placement cell of your college you know if you approach them with this problem they are surely going to help you out okay the next doubt is from mr shambhortha gangopadhyay he is from indian maritime university so he writes i haven't received my offer letter and date of joining yet last mail received was regarding the signing of onboarding formalities so don't worry uh, about that uh, you will be shortly receiving communication from lnt once you are selected as a get in lnt they will obviously and surely communicate to you maybe kafi bar thoda late ho jata hai but uh, don't worry about that they will surely communicate to you 
uh, very shortly okay shubham from nit silcher writes what they do in physical examination of body uh, shubham i apologize but i didn't get your question correctly i assume if you want to like uh, talk about the medical test baby so in medical test you guys will be uh, tested uh, with blood test urine test ecg uh, ent color blindness test etc okay but shubham i didn't get your question i am assuming it is regarding medical but you wrote what they do in physical examination of body so if you can be more specific about your question in the comment section it would be helpful for me to answer it okay the next query is from swapnil basu who is from iiest shipur and he asks about the induction program this year will be online or offline i am sure you must have received communication from lnt regarding the fact that this time the induction program is going to be offline in mumbai uh, unfortunately last year it was uh, online for us it was online and uh, we didn't had the privilege to go to lda lonavla and uh, you know enjoy the beautiful campus but uh, this time you guys are lucky uh, this time it's going to happen in mumbai lonavla so enjoy your time learn a lot and uh, yeah obviously have fun so in this regard i just want to have a detailed discussion about the induction program basically in ldl lonavla there will be a 20 to 21 days induction program kind of thing where you will have technical as well as non technical sessions and faculties and management from ldl lonavla and cte ahmed will teach you different sessions some of the sessions which i would like to mention over here some of the non technical sessions to start with are personal finance cyber security awareness empowering transactions design thinking lean concepts behavior based safety there will be a session on ssc shared service center and uh, there will be a session where people will explain you different components about your offer letter although these sessions will be non technical but i want you all to pay full attention as these are going to be very very important for you in the long run okay so do pay attention and uh, you know learn a lot from these sessions let us talk about some technical sessions which are going to held there will be sessions on alloy steel and classification industrial safety engineering drawing gdnt there will be a session on automation cat cam ugnx creo there will be session on heat treatment of engineering materials machining process embedded system iiot piping engineering civil engineering electrical engineering fundamentals plc industrial robotics structural analysis ms excel tips and tricks ms excel is going to be a very powerful and useful tool in day to day basis when you join lnt not only in lnt in fact in corporate life no matter which company you join ms excel is going to be handy each and every day each and every moment so you must have a very good grip over ms excel shortcuts and formulas okay so these are some technical and non technical sessions which are going to happen uh, during your induction days in cte ahmed or ldl onavla basically uh right so that was a very good question swapnil swapnil also asks is there any possibility to shift my ic later in my career so swapnil this is very very difficult actually to be very honest uh ic shifting or changing your ic uh you know it it happens very rarely but yes if there is requirement if there is uh, any requirement in any other ic say for example currently you get into hydrocarbon if you don't have much interest in hydrocarbon and uh, you want to join power say for example lnt power you want to join or lnt construction you want to join you need to look out for opportunities you need to look out for openings in lnt construction or say lnt power and you need to apply if your skill set do match their requirement then yes obviously you will be hired right but uh, very rarely it happens that uh, for somebody ic gets changed okay pratik shah from nit agartala asks uh, dada my doubt is about growth process if i don't qualify bis exam or don't do mtech then how will be the growth process from gt and as a civil engineering fresher GET I will be initially posted at site can I change it to structural engineer in future or it will be constant 
okay pratik so let me take it in a detailed manner so basically uh, you as a civil engineering graduate or as a civil engineering get in lnt you can be posted directly in site or you can be posted in office as well okay it is not quite sure that uh, you know initially you will be posted in office or you will be posted in site at first if you get posted in office for example say it's it totally depends on the project at what stage your project is suppose for example you are assigned to an xyz project okay this project is in the uh, for example say at the end stage okay it is just about to uh, get commissioned or it is the construction is going on so you as a civil engineering graduate you will not stay much longer in the office as soon as you join you will be directly posted to site okay now once you go to site your job as an lnt construction employee or as an lnt employee will basically uh, uh, be a coordination kind of job or you need to look out for things you know you need to coordinate as a civil engineering employee and look out for things if they are uh, going on in a planned fashion or not okay basically in site it will involve many physical activities and many activities involving your mental calculative strength also if you join office there will be you know if for example say your project is not in the ending stage it is in the beginning stage or in uh, like uh, in a middle stage then what will happen at for some months you need to stay in office and then you will be posted to site while you will be in office you will have office related works you you may need to do some designing related work or you may need to do some document review or you may need to do some excel work you may need to go through some technical things you may need to solve queries raised by vendors or say engineering team or quality team or designing team or maybe you need to solve some queries which will come from site okay so in office these will be your uh, uh, what to say job roles or job description okay now talking about your career growth in lnt as a get first year you will serve lnt as a graduate engineering trainee as soon as the first year gets completed you will be promoted to a senior engineer now 2 to 3 years you will be a senior engineer after that depending on your rating depending on your promotion you will be promoted to an assistant manager then manager and then so on so this picture in particular shows you the growth path of a get or pget in lnt i am sure that looking at this picture you will have a firm idea about your growth process in lnt as a get right now talking about higher studies or talking about the thing which you mentioned regarding mtech or mba so for civil mechanical and electrical graduates if i am not wrong this opportunity is only for civil mechanical and electrical graduates you guys will have uh, after 2 years of service in lnt you guys will have a chance to appear for bis examination if you qualify that exam you will get a chance to pursue mtech or mba from lnt itself okay once you complete your mtech or mba you come back to lnt as an employee correct so this is all about bis pratik also asks dada can you please suggest one thing after one year or two years job leaving job and preparing gate for psu is it a good decision or bad decision please can you give your personal opinion and suggestions regarding it so pratik basically this is a very tough question tough question in the sense because uh, it actually depends from person to person you know if you are someone who likes corporate job who like to work in a company in a private company you know you are settled down in your company say lnt only you know you are getting good work culture you are getting a good pay you have a good team you are learning the ample amount of you are getting ample amount of learning over there uh, you know your work life balance is superb you will never think of you know going one step ahead and preparing for gate or psu once you realize that there is something missing you know and something you need to work on 
and if you are interested and your inclination is towards that particular thing only that okay i am not satisfied with a private company's job i am not satisfied with my corporate life i want to do higher study or i want to find some time out of my schedule and prepare for gate or psu say right that moment you start preparing for gate or psu you see how it goes you know and then uh, you know like you will be able to decide for yourself only right so this is i am not saying that doing corporate job is only fine no need for preparing gate or psu or i am also saying i am also not saying that you know doing uh, gate or psu you must have to do gate or psu doing corporate job is not the end not fine it totally depends on your interest if you are interested to stay in lnt to stay in your private corporate job you stay you find good rhythm in it you find everything which you what you want from your life in your current job you stay no need to you know look out for better opportunities if you find something is missing you you find you find or you realize you need to work on something you realize okay this is enough i have to move out right now so you start preparing for gate or why only gate you can consider uh, you know uh, other competitive exams based on your interest you can switch companies you can look out for other better companies who are paying you better who are uh, you know providing you a better role better job opportunity better salary and you look out for companies there is no issue at all for that you know i'm not not telling you to retire from lnt only correct so it totally depends on your interest basically my personal opinion regarding that will be first find your interest find what you actually are made up of find your strength that yes this is the part where i perform the best if it is oriented to gate do start preparing for gate or blick psu if it is oriented to corporate stay in corporate okay and uh, improve yourself on a daily basis keep yourself open to learning if it is oriented to say cat mba or any other particular competitive exam do work in that direction okay but my personal opinion will be first figure out what you want from your life what you are capable of doing the best okay the next question is from samgeet sen from vit velor would a mechanical engineering graduate have to do works related to civil are uh, not really uh, the, uh, not really actually mechanical people will be doing work related to mechanical only you will be doing stuffs technical you will be doing both technical and non technical stuffs that is okay but you will never be asked to work something related to civil specifically there will be uh, things which you know which will be interdisciplinary and which will be uh, kind of interface between mechanical and civil you might have to do uh, such works but you will never be asked to do something which is specifically related to civil siddham setty lakshmi from vit asks joining date location preference and work culture joining date i am sure you must have been communicated by team lnt it is uh, i guess 29th of june you guys will have to report at mumbai if i am not wrong okay location preference there is no such location preference kashmir to kanyakumari anywhere you have you can get posted depending on lnt's requirement okay work culture see uh, a company is as good as its employees or as good as its people okay so uh, work culture of a company will depend on what type of people you are working with what type of team you have got what kind of project you are allocated to you know just remember one thing in any organization in any project in any team you will get good as well as bad people just remember one thing deal everyone with your kindness okay if you stay good if you stay nice with people you know they will never be able to do something bad with you and even if they even if they do something bad it will not affect you much just remember this piece of advice from me kill everyone with your kindness okay and uh, on an average work culture of lnt is pretty good himanshu from bit misra asks regarding offer letter and joining location i am from chemical engineering background 
so location i have already told previously regarding offer letter i must tell you that you must go through your offer letter very carefully there are different components of your salary uh, you must try and understand what are the different components of your offer letter uh, there will be session don't worry there will be a session once you reach ldl or navla or once you reach your cluster office also there will be people from hr department or there will be people assigned uh, for explaining you different components of your offer letter if no one from the company explains you regarding the different components of your offer letter then please reach out to me again in linkedin or in mail or in whatever way possible i'll make a video to explain you all the uh, like components of uh, of your offer letter so right now in this video i am not going to discuss it it will make this video very elaborate it will need a separate video to discuss the components of your offer letter so do reach out to me if there is uh, no such session taken from hr okay bharat from vit asks i got selected for lnt company as a part of my campus placement i am from ece background what type of role will be given for ece background students so uh, bharat please go through the video uh, where bodapalli pavan kumar one of my friend has uh, shared his interview experience with lnt smart world and communication you will get his linkedin profile in that video's description at first go through his interview experience in his interview experience also he has mentioned what type of uh, you know work he is doing in smart world and communication ic Uh, you just reach out to him through his linkedin id and ask him specifically regarding ece background okay this will be ece background people will do work related to ece uh, stuffs only so don't worry about that if you are having a good grip over your core engineering you are definitely going to shine in lnt okay mohammad tazim khan from zhcet asks about offer letter which i already told previously work culture i already have discussed about work culture and expected ic there is no such expectations regarding ic as i already told you can be posted in any ic any vertical depending on lnt's requirements kunal sharma from aligarh muslim university asks what is the business unit and location allotted to electrical engineering background students uh actually the allotment of business look uh, vertical or location is not according to discipline okay it is based on your uh, skill set actually what you have displayed in front of your interviewer during the campus placement your interviewer has taken some uh, you know what to say some points about you your panelist your hr has evaluated some strengths and weaknesses from within your own self and they only knows how to handle you or how to you know where to put you so that uh, you can give your best say for example i am in i am currently in the project management department of lnt onshore hydrocarbon right so while i was interviewing or while my technical panelist or my hr was taking my interview they must have seen something inside me through which they have decided that yes i am best for lnt hydrocarbon onshore project management department so it is accordingly it is like this only okay they do figure out what is what are your strengths weaknesses and in which vertical or in which location you will uh, perfectly fit, you will be perfectly fit okay so this is not uh, with uh, electrical or mechanical or you know this is not discipline oriented this is all about you pruthu trivedi from vit asks how much ctc we can expect after completing one year training so after completing one year training you will be given some uh, you know absorption bonus which is around 60000 and your ctc will also increase it will vary from ic to ic this time how the onboarding will be done online or offline offline it is as i have already mentioned which kind of business units are more likely to allocate to mechanical engineering student previously only i mentioned this is not uh, oriented with discipline this is more oriented to your skill set what will be the expected scope growth for mechanical students i have already explained you 
what will be the growth path as a GET. Uh, it's not specific to mechanical, electrical or civil or any other disciplines. But yes, if you perform well, you will be given, uh, you know, credit and uh, the required appreciation from LNT. Did they provide accommodation and how it will? Yes, for the first 11 months, company gives accommodation. Rehan from Aligarh Muslim University asks, how is the work-life balance at LNT? See, again, it depends on the criticality of the project you are allocated to, right? If the project is in a very critical stage, then you might need to over time at times. Okay, but uh, for freshers, it's good. It's quite good. If you work from office, you will get ample amount of time after your office, office hours, you know, to manage your work life balance. If you are posted it, if you are posted at site, comparatively, you will get somehow less time for your, you know, after office activities. But yes, uh, if you have proper time management skills, you will obviously be able to manage what department is generally given to the fresher mechanical engineers again it will depend it will depend on lnt's requirement your strength what you have displayed in your interview and your uh, cv your whatever uh, things are applicable to you they will decide and they will specifically assign shayandeep from iist shipper asks my thoughts regarding the work culture okay so shayandeep as i already mentioned a company is as good as its employees, as good as its people uh, working over there. So basically, uh, to create a good work culture in your office or in uh, or at your site, you need to be welcoming. You need to interact with everyone out there, and you need to make sure that uh, you know there is a bonding which is existing between the entire team. And this bonding, this, uh, what to say, this relationships only are going to make the vibe of the office or the, say the vibe of the site magnificent, you know. So you as a GT need to ensure that because, you know, once you join your office or once you join your site, you will see people who are not of your age group. They, are, they will be much older than you. But you need to ensure that you as a GET go as a fresh blood and, you know, take that step, take that initiative, you know, once you are settled down in your company, once you ha do have ample amount of interaction with everybody in your office, you need to ensure that there are, uh, you know, activities, there are games played, there are team activities, there are stuffs which you... Uh, encourage people to do as a team and which can build team interaction team uh, uh, what to say bonding so this will keep everyone motivated and this will give everyone a chance a break from their regular schedule so this is definitely going to help and you as a GET can do that right but yes obviously if people around you are not supportive people around you are not as energetic as you then it uh, is actually difficult so yes work culture i won't say specifically the work culture of lnt is very good or specifically the LNT, lnt's work culture is very bad actually it varies from office to office location to location people to people it definitely varies yeah rajat shubhra malik from nit agartala asks how will the location be decided and when will we receive offer letter i have already discussed this point right work culture i have just now discussed Work-life balance also I discussed and growth for long term. Yes, if you stay in LNT for long term, growth opportunities are ample in amount. So don't worry about that. Vatsal Singh from NIT Agatala asks, what exactly is the work we get at site after the orientation get finished for freshly joined GETs in LNT construction? More precisely for civil engineering pips. So Vatsal, I must tell you that since the time I joined, I have never been posted at site. Okay, I am working from office only. If you want to have some site experience or if you want to know from someone who had been to site, you know, you can just connect with Rajeshwari Adhikari. Uh, you know, you, I, I am sure you must have seen uh, this video. Why should I join LNT construction by placement buddies where Rajeshwari Didi has uh, shared her experience with LNT. 
So you can just connect with her. You can drop a hi to her at LinkedIn and you can ask your query specifically for civil engineering since I am from instrumentation background. So I do have very little idea about that. But uh, as an engineering graduate, I must tell you at sight, uh, you know, your work will be to look after things if they are done in a proper manner or not you do have to coordinate on a daily basis you do have to report your office people that okay this is happening at site and uh, you have to give some propose you have to propose some technical solutions to the site team at times also so yeah this kind of stuffs you do regular on a regular basis at site the last query is from mr shomujit ganguly from nit durgapur i have actually already asked you this doubt on linkedin yeah i do remember man uh, uh, I um, I might have also told you that yes I am going to take this up in uh, this video but I felt should make this query here as well for others to get a better clarification regarding the same very good uh, my main doubt is that after the joining and the first reporting when we are sent to our specific posting locations do we get time to return back home or is it just impromptu actually that would help us pack our luggage accordingly also regarding the ic location is it completely their choice or we to fill out preferences so this is a very good question shomajit okay so let me tell you what happened in our time uh, so in our time the onboarding of the induction program was online right so the induction program got over on 8 september 2021 we had uh, I should say the time of 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, this four days to travel to Baroda, right? I came to Baroda on 11th and from 13th, our office started. Like the orientation program physically in Barodra started from 13th. So we actually, I actually had four days to travel, right? Beforehand only, like uh, 23rd or 24th of August, I guess we were already communicated by Vadodra's HR team that you guys need to physically report before 13th. So, so we actually had ample amount of time to plan things, you know, to pack our luggages and report to our original location. So don't worry about that when you guys will be in Mumbai and once your Mumbai thing gets over before that only you will be communicated by your cluster HR or your of your locations HR team that okay say for example this date you have to report in this particular location so before hand only you will be ready so once you go to Mumbai you will have ample amount of time to come back to your home and then go again to your final location right Mumbai is just for this induction thing this training kind of thing okay then you will have ample amount of time to go back to your home and then finally go to your uh, specified location so don't worry about that okay so guys with that we come to the end of this doubt solving video if you have if you do have further doubts please ask those in the comments section or do reach out to me in linkedin uh, so that i can solve your queries i hope you had a very crystal clear idea about lnt's joining pre-joining process it's onboarding it's technical and non-technical induction sessions and uh, i also gave you some uh, you know genuine and proper insights regarding lnt's work culture its uh, growth opportunities and everything so i'm sure you must have enjoyed this video if you have uh, watched it till the end please do like this video comment your views about it uh, do let me know if there are further doubts to be solved and addressed okay and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video if yes please do subscribe to placement buddies and support me and apurva uh, in this journey of ours and uh, i'm sure uh, you know we would be able to bring more such content to you people in the near future so that's it for today guys uh, milte hain agle video pe bye